dance is it's a big part of Fiji. Music and dance. Well, everyone dances in Fiji. Everybody's dancing. You go where when they work, you definitely see somebody dancing, or people dancing, moving, walking, and dancing around. <laughs> the best thing about it. You don't have to be a singer or, or guitar player to be a musician. You can be a dancer. It's a big part of uh, family. Eh? Whole family has to get together before everything starts working out. My name is Luisa. I'm part of the Miller family here in Savasavu. My brother is Rodney Miller. The Miller family is renowned here in Savasavu for music. This is because of our being descendants of a vibrant and rich mix of having the English blood, the Samoan blood, and the Fijian blood. So it's a really rich mix of cultures. As soon as you step into Fiji, to any village you go to or wherever, there's always music. After hard days work coming back from the farm, in the villages, that's the main thing. They'll come, have kava, a traditional drink, and all gather around, and music. known as the Cannibal Isles is now one of the world's friendliest places and that's so beautiful because we as dancers and singers can add to this and we can share this culture with the whole world. I can say Fiji is a multi-musical place, different taste. They have the Indian music from all over. And so you just take what you like and listen to what you like, play what you like. You've got so many range where you can pick from. Well, this is uh, my cousin Rodney. Hi, Bula. Bula Re. Bula Re. Uh, my name is Rodney Miller, and um, I'm born and raised here in Savu Savu. I have four younger sisters, one elder sister, one elder brother, and they dance. They love dancing. Oh, dancing is part of their life, dancing and music. Music is every day at, at home. It's, it's everywhere. You wake up in the morning, there's no music. It feels dead, not like something's wrong, something's missing. I'm glad that I have a cousin like this where I can show my music with him and he show his music. And music has been a big part of our lives, you know. You ain't nothing but a hound dog, crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog, crying all the time. Well, you never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Said you were high class, that was just a lie. Said you were high class, that was just a lie. Well, you never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Well, you never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Well, you never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. <laughs> Elvis is in Fiji. This is baby Elvis in Fiji. We call him Baby Elevese. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Ali a wrong to na tango sa mo sa watang. This is uh, L6 Ratukalo. Uh, he's my cousin. He's a musician. Slash boat builder. Slash he's a soldier. We've been playing music for a while, for a very long time. Yeah, since we were young. I joined the military in 1996, just out of school. And I was actually stationed right next to, to Gaza Strip, to Egypt, the Sinai Desert. And you could hear the bombing, the shooting. When I got there, I saw how lucky we Fijians were to be here. The difference between Fiji, where you get to see, you know, kids going from neighbor's house to neighbor's house really freely. They're protected because they, they have relatives, you know. They go and play in the neighbor's uh, yard. And so I saw my home like really happy Fiji, you know, that we are privileged to be born and raised and living here. And they sent me on another tour to Beirut. The same thing. How we Fijians, like if you, when you're a small kid, they would uh, give a guitar or ukulele, something musical to play with. There, when you're seven years old, your present for your seventh birthday is a rifle. Now, man, in Fiji, we don't do this, you know. Probably we should take some really good guitars and exchange them for their rifles. Like, hey, I think you play this, you'll probably survive until you're old. Give me that gun and let's go and bend those rifles. What was one of the first songs that you composed together? I think it was uh, Taki Talemanda, means cheers in Fijian. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Every Fijian sings, that's the truth. They just, they just brought up with it. You don't have to go look for it, it's there at home every day. You can hear your parents singing in the morning. I think from the, the day a baby is born, they don't need to be taught to dance. It comes natural. Stepping their feet, jumping up and down, they eventually dance. We started off the dance group, just four of our sisters. We got other young children together from our youth group. And so we built in this in Savasavu. And Savasavu is just filled with talent, just wonderful talent. And people have no idea about this. So we brought our youth group together and we taught them. And I taught them these dances. And so now they're part of the Miller dance group. And we still carry the Miller name because that's where it all started.
dance and being part of the dance group or being part of music, they will never forget who they are. Their identity remains. They know who they are. With the music that they carry, they will never ever forget that. And that's my hope. It also builds unity. Dance is not just a way of expressing your actions and how you feel, but it also builds unity amongst people. And we saw that in Savasavu, you know, they didn't just showcase the culture, they also build this wonderful unity here in Savasavu. So we had people coming together, thousands of people coming on the, on the grounds in, in Savasavu and we just brought people together. So it's something that we cannot live without. Dance, music, it's part of us here. And we want to share that with the world. Music plays such an important part in our lives that it carries our childhood memories with us and that happiness, the joy that we had then, we take it with us to our old age. And so every time we hear a song that we heard years before, automatically our body just resonates to how we used to feel before. And so it carries memories as well. Yeah. 
The name of the girl was Leah, that was her name. It was his love song about this guy, they were seeing each other, but they were so far away from each other, from different islands. So back then, you know, they were transport would be hard. Uh, to get to her was, was a good challenge. <laughs> it was a good challenge. It was like getting to the end of the world just to get to her. That's just another island. <laughs> But he finally did. He went over, got to her, and then he wrote to someone saying, Together, I would do anything for I would swim across the ocean, which he almost did. Both tipped over and he fell, almost swam. So they fell in love and they, they got married. And they lived happily ever after. And they had kids? Only 13 of them. They just for That's so much love, man. That's so much love. 13 kids. <laughs> So I think that's how music just plays an important part even in old age. You hear a song and you're like, wow, I heard that song uh, 15 years ago. I was at this place and I was having so much fun. And so even, even, even if that person is in a state of sadness, straight away, just by hearing that music, they become alive again. And they, it just changes the mood. It just changes their state of mind. It, they become different. They become more joyful. So I think music plays such an important part in that, even till old age. And even when they die, yeah, they're in the coffin and, and people come, oh, the favorite song was this. They used to dance to this. They used to love this. So music was not only part of the childhood, it becomes part of a memory. Music, uh, for us, it probably won't end. Never end. It'll never, never end, end uh, until we're six feet under, probably. I'll still play music at his funeral. <laughs> Yeah. I'll sing him the goodbye song. That's a new one I'm going to about to write you. <laughs> music is a God-given gift. Because without music, we would be some boring people. We're going to dance here? Yes, no, we're going to dance there. <laughs> Come on, jump. Set, girls. Set. Are we ready? Yeah. Are we ready? We are about to be ready. 